All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome. My name is Rachel Varga. I'm a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist, and I have a really special guest for you guys today. You guys know I'm a firm believer of optimal alignment of your body, mind, spirit, energy to bring forth a really high level of radiance and beauty. And on the topic of radiance and light and energy, we have an expert here with us. We have Wes Feifner, and he is the Director of Business Development from Juve Red Light Therapy. So Wes, I'd love for you to, first of all, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. And I would love for you to just tell us a little bit about yourself and then just let's dive straight into light therapy and how it can help us. Awesome. Thanks. Well, thanks for having me, Rachel. It's, it's great to, to get together and have this conversation, talk a, talk a little bit about light. Um, oh boy, I guess a little bit about me. Um, I am employee number two at Juve and I handle all of our, our business developments, all of our relationships, and which is great because it, it allows me to, to hop on podcasts with, with folks like yourself. Um, and I'm, I really love it, just everything all, all health and fitness related, right? I've just become almost a complete nerd, nerd to it. And I got involved with Juve back in, um, very early 2017, the company officially launched its first product in, in early 2016. So about, about eight, eight to nine months after the company had launched, um, I got, I, I got involved and started helping on the business development side. And it just so happens that the founders are my, um, two brother-in-laws and two sisters. So That's we awesome. are kind of a, yeah, we're kind of a family run, run, um, um, business. And it's, it's been really cool to experience that with, with family, um, mm -hmm. you know, through, through the challenges and, and through the good times. Right. Um, uh, and so I actually, I, it's funny, I had a prototype of our product for the better half of a year before I even touched it. And, Ooh. and mainly because I just didn't understand what red light was, right. They, like I, they tell me, if I'd have a bruise or an injury or, or recovering from the gym, they'd be like, Hey, stand in front of that light that we gave you. And I'd be like, red light, like light, light doesn't help you do this. Right. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help with any of that stuff. Um, and then finally I, I kind of just started using it, you know, organically and um, quickly I became uh, a believer, especially after starting to read the research behind it. There's, so, you know, there's been research on light therapy for decades. I've been using mm -hmm. lasers for the last 10 years myself. I love light energy, whether it's IPL, erbium, all sorts of different types of, of light and laser. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm learning lots. Yeah. And, and it, I think you got to go back to really like for, for me, I had at this point, I was, let's, I think it was around 25, 26 and um, I didn't know light could do this, right? The only concept I had from light being beneficial to the body was, you know, vitamin D, ultraviolet light, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't even really figure that out. And I think it, was, it wasn't scientifically proven until 1930s, 1935. So we're not even 100 years of first really, you know, looking at, okay, the sunlight can actually do, or light, excuse me, can actually bring benefits to the body, right? We know totally. this from, from vitamin D, right? And then ever since then, it's kind of kicked off even more um, discovery as we've, we've advanced with technology to be able to look at the body better, better understand it. We're starting to see that there's benefits to these other colors of light, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, that's where it's really, it's really, really, really important for those listening that once, when hearing this, you have to almost delete from your mind how you've always looked at light. And a good way is that for me, how I always looked at it is light is it's, it's illumination. That's mm -hmm. all really we, we need light for is to see, right? And we become masters as humans of focusing light for our entertainment, right? And think of your iPhone, your TV, your screens, all that stuff. We've used light as a way to help communicate and really help like visually, but we really haven't gotten super good at it from a health standpoint. Oh, and mainly the blue because light from our devices is terrible for us. Yes, yes. Blue light, it, it can cause havoc, yet it's, it's a necessary light, right? We get it from sunlight, right? There, there's benefits to it, but we're just out of balance with it, and we, we can get into that. Um, and so when, when you're listening, light really, it, it does help illuminate, right? It does help us see, but light really is energy. In fact, the scientific term, it's electromagnetic radiation. And so think of the sun, 
the sun is giving off full spectrum, right? It's giving off white light. When all the colors of light are together, it's white, right? And um, these different wavelengths of light travel and, in form of like a wave and it's carrying energy, right? And, and it, it, either three things happen when it hits an object. It either absorbs it, it transmits it, or it um, reflects it, right? And mm -hmm. humans, we can absorb. We can mm -hmm. absorb th this light and, and, and our body can in turn use it as energy. And different wavelengths do different things. And so when we're talking and what's been amazing with red light is we've discovered, you know, starting in the seven or I'd say the late sixties, it was actually an accident. They were, they were using a laser, I, um, I believe to remove a, a, a tumor, um, a skin tumor, I think on, I think it was a rat. And what happened is it generated hair regrowth. <laughs> so they saw, huh, how did this happen? And that kicked off this whole concept, um, known as photobiomodulation. That's, that, that's like the scientific term for, for red light therapy. It was known as, you know, low level laser therapy, but now it's kind of shifted to low level light therapy and more it's, I mean, it's a lot of it's even moving away from lasers. It's more LEDs now because what they discovered is, especially starting in the nineties with what, and NASA is kind of the one that implemented red LEDs is that you can deliver this dosage um, of light at a lower power and it still causes the same stimulation effect. So mm -hmm. LEDs allow us to treat a broader area with lower power and a lot safer. LEDs mm -hmm. are so much safer because lasers, you really treat for like 30 seconds to a minute. Otherwise you can cause too much damage to the cell. So um, what this does from a cellular standpoint is these wavelengths of red and near infrared. And so for those listening, that's a small band of wavelengths. Really starting at about 630 is where red light starts. It ends in, in the lower 700s and the near infrared goes from, you know, around seven, 700 to, um, to over a thousand. And so this band that is used for red light is, is really just in the mid 600s and the mid 800s. Mm -hmm. And so that's just two specific wavelengths of light or several specific, you could use 630 or, or 810 but they're all relatively doing the same mechanism of action. Um, and think, so the color of, of light is, is, you know, geez, it goes into the, into the millions of, of infrared. So it's, it's just these two specific wavelengths of light that actually stimulates an amazing process on the cells and specifically the mitochondria mm -hmm. in the cell. And so for those listening, the mitochondria is responsible for creating energy in the body. Um, known as adenosine, adenosine triphosphate, so ATP for short. And ATP is the, the life force of the body. It's what everything powers, every cell powers everything. Yeah. All, all our movement, our talking is ATP. And so red light is absorbed by the mitochondria um, and it stimulates this process of, of, of healthy cellular function. And we see, and, and most notably is when cells are under oxidative stress, it's been pretty well documented now and proven that red light helps restore those cells that are under oxidative stress and returns them to homeostasis. And not only does it return them to normal, but it also helps them build up a better defense. So they're almost, they're stronger, right? Mm -hmm. And so for normal, healthy cells, it allows them to communicate better. And so essentially be able to function better. So red and near infrared have been clinically proven to not only heal cells, but also help maintain healthy cellular function. As a result from that, we see pretty profound effects throughout the whole body. We see, we'll see skin benefits from collagen production. We will see um, uh, wrinkle reduction, wound healing, hair regrowth, um, inflammation. Inflammation is probably one of the most exciting things about it as it really can reduce pro-inflammatory markers, so M1, phenotypes and increase M2 phenotypes, which are healing, right? So it's like reducing inflammation. And inflammation um, is the root cause of aging. And if you're wondering what oxidative stress is caused by, you're getting that from UVA, UVB, our blue light, also from different environmental aspects. So whether it's pollution or you know, you're eating things that are causing inflammation in your body. Mm -hmm. So it's usually like environment, food, what we're exposed to on a daily basis, different household cleaning agents, some of our beauty products even. 
So we're always getting this like bombardment with oxidative stress in our body. So the whole point of bringing Wes on here is to just shed light, no pun intended, on ways to reduce that, reduce inflammation, and thus help you be your most vibrant, radiant version. You got it, Rachel. And another, another great analogy of, of oxidative stress that we actually induce on ourselves would be exercise, right? When you're doing exercise, you're stressing those muscles and what an inflammation comes in at a, you know, a very minimal point because it help, needs to protect that cell because you just broke it down. And then mm -hmm. the recovery process is your body is then we're going to build it stronger. That's why exercise makes us stronger. We actually attack the body and then it grows back stronger. And actually red light, there's, there's, not, there's really strong evidence that it speeds up that process. And so um, now fast forward now uh, uh, where we're at in today's world, um, we really have a lack of this nutrient of light. And mm -hmm. in fact, the, uh, the EPA, so the Environmental Protection Agency released this stat back in 2018 that now over 90% of Americans are spending their lifetime in, in their 90% of their time is now being spent indoors. So their lifetime oh, yeah. only, I think it's like 7% of their life is now spent outdoors. And I could probably argue, you know, that, that the time that they're spending outdoors, they're usually fully clothed, right? Mm -hmm. And they're wearing sunglasses. So we're blocking ourselves from the, this, this, this natural light. And it's pretty evident now, I believe, I think it's um, Americans now are like 70 to 80% are like deficient in vitamin D. So yeah. that it's, it's, no, it's no sign. So bottom line, what, what I'm trying to say here is red and near infrared is an essential nutrient that your body requires to keep it in, 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 a, in a balanced state. And when folks implement it that haven't been giving themselves these, these healing benefits of light, we see remarkable systemic effects kick off throughout the entire, entire body. Yeah, I will share with you. We're going to be talking about some of the benefits shortly here. But initially when I started using Juve, I have really dry, irritated eyes. I had eye surgery before and I could barely you know, handle wearing my contacts even, they would just get so irritated. And then after just a couple of days of using the juve, I mean, this is anecdotal, this is all my experience, that irritation has significantly reduced. And I was shocked and about 50% of the population experiences dry eyes. So I think this is something really interesting. And that, and that I love that feedback because one, it's just completely organic. And, and two, um, that's what's so exciting about red and near infrared light is you, no one can predict what benefits they're going to see, right? And you just mentioned dry eyes and we were talking earlier, you were kind of hinting at, hey, yeah, my sleep's been kind of positively affected here. Um, and that's what we get exactly from customers, exactly that. Someone would be, someone would be eyeing our product and say, hey, I want to improve, you know, like wrinkles or I want to reduce, or I want to increase collagen. But then all of a sudden, you know, after using our product for a couple of weeks to a month, we'll get uh, an email from them and say, hey, um, like we just got this one back a month ago. Someone emailed and said, I've used your product for now two weeks and my sense of smell has returned. You know, that's, that's kind of like a head scratcher of how could it do that? Um, cool. You know, and we get the same of, hey, I, I bought your product for, for this and, and, and now, you know, it's positively affected my thyroid. And now I'm off thyroid medication. Now, now disclaimer, this is all anecdotal, right? There's no indications for thyroid or for returning a sense of smell, but it, it goes along with what we're talking about of humans are deficient in, the, in this energy source. And when you give your cells and your body this energy, it can function as we are designed to. It can mm -hmm. keep us balanced. And when we are balanced, our body is, can do and function amazingly. Um, I think we've, we've, we've kind of shown that and as we are, the body is master at compensating. And when we don't give our body the nutrients we need, it compromises, right? We'll see it with dry skin. It, it, if we're out of alignment of structure, right? We'll, it will feel pain. That's our body telling us, Hey, look, something is wrong here. This needs to be addressed. And so it's, it's pretty amazing that, that we've gone this far and we, we think we know so much, but yet just implementing light, it kicks off this amazing process. Yeah. And like I said, I've been in the industry with skin rejuvenation for nearly 10 years and I'm constantly learning and you have to have that approach of really wanting to always be investigating the latest things and looking at the research. 
So when you talked about light therapy having different benefits, so IPL, intense pulse light, there's some really good Stanford studies on the BBL that it can actually change our genetic expression of skin cells. It's fascinating. You just easily look this up. And so IPL, the, the light frequencies we're using there are helpful for reds and browns in the skin. So they have a particular chromophore target. And then erbium resurfacing lasers, they're targeting water. And I, I love it. So I love that you know, you've been able to isolate the ideal range of energy with the Jew. But how did you come up with that, that specific sweet spot of, mm -hmm. of, of the energy? Because there are some other products out there that claim to you know, output more joules, but sometimes that's not always better. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and that, and hearing the, the more, like it's got more energy, more power, there really isn't definitive research on that. And, and the really how Juve and, and um, you know, and my, my brother-in-laws and sister, how we, we came across this was it was completely one, it was completely organic. My, my sister, Melissa had struggled with eczema and she had actually gone to a local tanning salon that they converted an old tanning bed into a red light bed. And she stumbled across and was like, hey, I've had this eczema. I don't know how to, to really help this. I've heard that red light can maybe do this. I'm going to try it. Well, within like two to three weeks, significantly cleared it up. I would say like uh, upwards of 95%. Isn't that gone. interesting that she in just intuitively had that inclination to try that therapy? Do not underestimate your body's uh, innate desire to want to help you. <laughs> 100%. And Rachel, that's so key there. And that really speaks to, you know, if we even re rewind a little bit further, th this was my, my family kind of started to go down this path. And I... Of, of alternative health. And it really started with, um, I can remember this clear as day in like 2000 or the mid 2000s when, you know, as a family, we started learning about organic and we started learning about, oh, there's something, there's a difference between grass fed and corn fed uh, uh, meat, um, vegetables that are organic versus pesticides. Mm -hmm. And then that kicked off this like this rabbit hole of what is bone broth? What is kombucha? What is all this other stuff, right? That now I'm obsessed is like, with bone broth. oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. But now this is common knowledge, right? To a lot of people, especially, you know, uh, li living on the West coast, you know, you can most places, you know, uh, they'll have bone broth as an option, right? That you can just, you can get it right then and there. But, um, but, but the concept early on in my heard it, I was like, you're drinking broth that's been soaked in bones. Like that's gross. But now when you understand it, it makes complete sense. Right. And so we are, uh, my family developed this, this, uh, mentality of what, what, what can we do to improve our health? Right. Mm -hmm. We're all about it. Let's experiment. And there's been a lot of experiments. <laughs> I've done a lot of different diets. I've done a lot of different things. Um, and, and that's what really, so when it came to like, when you're saying about my sister, how she had that inclination of, I'm going to try this. That's where that came from. It, it come from years and years of, hey, I don't believe everything I've been told. I want to try alternative ways and mm -hmm. really listen to my body. And, and if my body responds well to it, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, I know this is beneficial. So being in tune with your body is everything, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, okay. So now, now, now let's go back to, okay, she tried it. She, it, it helped. Now she has six kids, right? My sister, Melissa has six kids and she can't always go and leave them at home to go to the spa to do this, right? So it's essentially, how can I do this at home? There's okay. gotta be something on the market. Well, when she looked, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. it, it was all kind of janky handheld devices, really from websites and, um, that I always say uh, that if you were on them, you kind of thought you were gonna get a virus being on these websites, right? Like they just, they didn't look like secure products to buy. They didn't look like they were from trusted manufacturing. And so she, she went to Justin who just happens to be an engineer by trade. And is like, Hey, is there something you can kind of rig up like to do at home? And he's like, Hmm. Yeah. I think, you know, I'll, I'll kind of look into it. And we first, the first kind of prototype, if you will, of Juve was infrared heat bulbs. So like an incandescent heat bulb. Mm -hmm. And so they do deliver a percentage of, of red and near infrared. However, it delivers primarily more mid and far, right? They're hot and that's the heat you feel. And so she, she tried it for a little bit and she's like, yeah, you know, it feels good, but I'm feeling a lot of heat and I'm just not getting the same reaction. I can tell my body isn't. 
So okay. then they looked further into research and saw, ah, there's just specific wavelengths of light and there's a specific intensity. And actually it's, and, and the way you can deliver that is through an LED, right? Mm -hmm. With an LED, you can get really specific with the wavelength and the intensity. So then they, they actually put together a prototype device and, and, um, and we consulted with some experts in the field. One of them, uh, most notably, we list him on our scientific advisor, Dr. Michael Hamblin. He spent virtually all of his career at Harvard doing research studies. And in fact, he's, he's published well over 300 studies himself. And, um, and for those that want to read more about the science, looking up his meta-analysis and reviews is, is awesome. I mean, there, there's a skin one that I, I'm, I'm going to send you to include in the show notes. There's one on inflammation where he summarizes all the research and kind of puts it in easy, understandable form. I write academic so, articles myself. I'm actually in the process of doing another one this year. I had one published that I won an award on late last year. So I'm a big nerd. I love writing and, and reading articles too. But what you mentioned about the previous generation of at-home light therapies, and my husband's a pro athlete, and we see a chiropractor and she does all mm -hmm. sorts of other beautiful alternative healing modalities for us. And she had this locally made red light therapy device that you know we've been using for the last 10 years, but it's clunky. It's got these pads. It's really hard to like secure the pads on. Mm -hmm. um, so, so where you kind of have filled the market has been really interesting and a, a really easy to use device, but please get back into the science. I just wanted yes. to point that out. <laughs> no, I think that's a good point because th this is what the landscape was when, yeah. when at home devices are being looked at. So, so finally then through, through contacting researchers in the field and looking at the literature, we, 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 we found out the right dosage to deliver, right? Now it was like, okay, um, you look at all, up all these studies and you find ones on muscle recovery, joint pain relief, right? So shining the devices on different parts of the body was bringing these benefits. And so it, it then just kind of clicked like, hey, why not radiate the whole body at one time? Totally. Yeah, right? I've, used, I've used gag lasers for pain and reduction in the hands for years, but it's mm -hmm. like, it's expensive. It's a $140,000 machine that you have to go in for. So this at-home stuff is fantastic. Yes, and exactly that. And so we, we saw, okay, let's try, let's, let's, let's bring full body into the home. It, it's not there. there. There's a tremendous amount of clinical data supporting red and near infrared and virtually zero negative side effects. It's, it's a non-invasive therapy. And so it kind of became like, Hey, let's just, you know, one, let's just get a device created that we can use personally. And then let's see if it kind of, if there's a market for it, if anybody really wants it. Um, well now fast forward to 2020 and we, it's, 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 you know, uh, you know, we have upwards of, of 20 to 25 employees. Um, and we are just marveling at the benefits of what mm -hmm. our customers are reporting. And it's just been incredible. It's been very, very, very humbling and very, very exciting at the same time. And, and, you know, and I, we would have never predicted that it would have gone this way. Um, but after you read more and more, you realize People, um, and it's specifically Americans, are, are, are very lacking in light exposure and healthy oh, yeah. light exposure. And they're overexposed to one spectrum of light, blue light, um, that you mentioned that can cause negative effects on the body. So really, it made sense of how the uh, people grasped this and how, how it brought about all these amazing benefits is really because we have a lack of this type of, of, of light exposure now. And it's really just our lifestyle, right? It's just, it's just kind of how we've, we've evolved and now we're evolving in ways to, to counteract that. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, so there is a specific dosage that, that needs to be delivered with, with the product. You can't just stand in front of red Christmas lights, right? You can't just stand in front of those. It is red, right. But it's not delivering that, that dosage. Um, and that's what we, we combined with Juve. And so Juve, you know, it, they're, they're full panel devices that you can stand in front of. You don't have to be in contact with them, right? So old devices, you would it'd be exactly. lower power. Yeah. Or you would have to put it right on, right on the skin. Mm -hmm. Because of we found a really good sweet spot, you can stand, you know, four to six and, and even eight inches away at, at, at times, depending on what you're wanting to treat. 
um, and, and just expose your body and you don't have to be right up on it. And so that's exactly what a Juve panel is. It, it's a device that emits red and near infrared light at, at the appropriate dosage and treatments are virtually per area of your body, 10 minutes, right? So if I had, mm -hmm. if I had a full body device, um, it would just be a 10 minute treatment versus if you had a smaller one, you'd move it around different parts of the body and right, just be 10 minutes per area. But that's, that, that's the, that's the, 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 you know, a little bit of the science behind it. Awesome. So why don't you just go ahead and tell us about how do we use it? How do we use our Juve properly? This is a question I get all the time. Rachel, I saw your post on red light therapy. I want to get one. How do you use it? How does it work? What are the benefits? Well, here you go. You've asked and now you're receiving. Go for it, Wes. Tell us all about this they're, magic. They're a great question. Great question. And it's an important question. And really, all it's so simple. All you have to do is expose your skin to the light, right? And, um, and to get the proper dosage, you need to be about four to six inches from, from the panel. So mm -hmm. imagine if, so let's say I'm just wanting to treat my face. All you need to do is, is position your, your face about four to six inches away and just hit the play button. And that's all you have to do. And you just got to hang out. There's no, there's no massaging. There's no, you know, position it here. And then here it's just exposing your face to the light and our devices, depending on what you're treating, they're treating a broad area. It was designed so we could treat a broad area. So you didn't have to be so self-conscious of, um, you know, like as an example, if, if, for, if anyone's watching this via video, there's devices that are the size of a cell phone, even smaller. And so if mm -hmm. you were wanting to treat your face, you'd have to move it right around your face, different spots, right? Well, with, with, with like, let's say the Juve mini, you just have to position it and then just expose and it'll, it'll treat your entire face, um, in 10 minutes. And you're getting a very, very sufficient dosage of energy. And it's just regular treatment then after that. So you would just expose your skin and then 10 minutes a day. It's, it's, it's very simple and it's very non-invasive. And in fact, most people find it extreme, extremely relaxing. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, before I talk about my routine with the Jew, I just want to make sure that I'm sharing, you know, health conscious information here, but I'm going to share my morning and nighttime routine with the Jew. But first, I want you to tell us if there's any like maximum exposure we should be worried about. Like what's the, what's the maximum that we, we shouldn't be, be doing with it, like time-wise. Yep. Yep. And, 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 and this, this came into factor and to play when we were looking at, oh, how, how potent do we make this energy, right? Um, you can control that. And at, at the dosage we're delivering, at, you're really, there, there's no negative effect of over-treating. I would look at it as there just isn't a, there becomes where there's just no benefit after, after about 10 minutes. And the reason being is think about like a battery. Think, th think of your cells as a battery. When a battery is on the charger and it's charged, it, it, it's charged. There's no, there's nothing else that's happening to that, right? Mm -hmm. You could leave it on the charger. There's just no benefit. And so that's really what it is when you're doing a treatment. Look at your cells as, hey, they're now fully charged. So after about a 10 minute treatment, there really isn't any more benefit. There's really no negative side effect. You'd have to, oh man, you'd have to stand in front of these for a really long time, probably over 24 hours. I mean, it, it's a long time. You, you yeah. couldn't really overdo it like you could, you know, like you're, like you mentioned earlier, a laser, right? So a laser, you can deliver an extreme amount of, of power oh, in yeah. a short time. And then, and so with a laser, there, there's a term known as like the biphasic dosage response. That's when too much energy becomes a problem. It, it mm -hmm. becomes damage. And with too much energy, you can overheat the cell and then that just causes damage. So with our product and with these wavelengths and, and the dosage, there's no worry of overdoing it. But however, after about a 10 minute treatment, you, you've been you're pretty sufficient. So if you wanted to do maybe multiple treatments in a day, we'd recommend um, separating them out like morning and night, right? Yeah. Give your yeah. cells a chance to use that energy before you, before you give it more. Similar to how you would do with food, right? I'm not going to eat breakfast at 8.30 and then eat lunch at 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready to go into how I use it? Yeah, let's <laughs> hear it. I'm sure everyone's curious. Like, Rachel, what, what's your at-home routine? And I got to say this at-home stuff is really critical because mm -hmm. like you mentioned with your 
with your family member. She has a family. She can't go out and get these treatments. So being able to bring it home is just so awesome. So some of my key at home options for people to help with their skin and rejuvenation journey is getting dialed in in a, a complete medical grade skincare routine, which is what I do. I work with people online in the clinic. So you can just reach out at rachelvarga.ca. And then I love to recommend at home dermal rolling, but you have to know how to use it properly. You can't just buy these rollers off these third party websites. There is a bit of a learning curve. You have to prep your skin. You have to know how to use the device properly and then how to nourish your skin after. So I love that. And then I also really like the red light therapy. I personally find it to be very grounding. It really makes my morning and evening routine just ultra luxurious. I love it. It just feels good. It's a great start to the day. And it's also a great sort of end to the day. So you might hate me for saying this, but I actually put it right next to my bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm, you know, doing my facial cleansing mm -hmm. and things like that, I'm, you know, having my coffee in the morning, uh, having just a ton of water. Like I, I drink so much water, uh, filtered water is really, really, oh yeah, we both got jars happening. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. And uh, yeah, so what I do is in the tub, I'll have it go for like 10 minutes on my front here and then I'll flip it around and then I'll have it get my back while I'm putting on my skincare products and my makeup and doing my hair. So that's how I got that 20 minutes in. So 20 on the front, 20 on the mm -hmm. back, and then I'm good to go. And sometimes I'll put it, and that's just on like the stand option. I just put it on like a plant stand next to the tub and then just turn it around. And then sometimes I'll have it on my workspace, my desk here facing me as well, or on my legs. That's how I tend to get my leg treatment in. So I get the lower part of my body and I love it. It just, I find midday, it really just, it just gives me a little bit of like an energy boost and it, it just feels good. And then the evening we were talking about bone broth instead of my coffee in the evening, I'll do my bone broth and I sleep so much better when I have bone broth before bed. I have a really cool interview with Dr. Seth Gerlach where he, he talks about how bone broth can help to seal the gut, mm. uh, which is great when you're sleeping. But then I do another round of juice at, at night. And when I'm doing my dermal rolling, sometimes I'll have it on as well. And, you know, I don't think that the red light therapy is going to make your rolling any more effective. But I really like the, 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 the 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening. It's more than you recommend to use, but it just allows me to take a pause for myself. So if you're, one of the questions I have was, from uh, a lovely client of mine. Well, how do I use it? Like, where do I incorporate it in my day? That's how I do it. So bathroom, I have it in the bathroom. And then I also have it on my, my desk here. That's awesome. I, I love how you've, you've implemented it in multiple different ways. And that's exactly what, you know, that's exactly what we, we want folks to do is implement this to when you're able to do a treatment. Don't, exactly. you know, just like anything with, when you're trying to, to implement something in your routine, it's got to stick, right? Mm -hmm. If then, if you, if you can do it easily, then you're going to continue to do it. And consistency is the key with this, with this therapy, you know, yeah. don't expect a one-off treatment. My, oh, my skin is glowing from a one-off treatment. Like it's not, that's not going to, to happen. You can, some folks do see, um, they report tremendous benefits after just one treatment, but for the most, it takes a little bit of continuous use, which is why we recommend, you know, daily treatments, mm -hmm. um, and how you're using it is perfect. Definitely. You know, you gave the disclaimer, they're about close to the bathtub. We don't want people to put the device Obviously. close to the bathtub. Yeah. But but that's the uniqueness of it as, as, as it's just light that you can do some um, multifunctional things, right? You don't have to just, you know, sh uh, uh, shine it there and do nothing. Like for me, I, I usually find a time to kind of just relax and I'll listen to a podcast, right? I'll, uh, someone could be listening to this podcast as they're, <laughs> as they're, as they're juving, right? Um, or, or, you know, sometimes I'll find a way of like, I'll, I'll maybe address some emails as I'm sitting there working. However you can to, yeah. to get it into your routine is, is, is key. Um, you know, so you're, you're right on, on par there. That's, that's great usage. Doesn't it make those more mundane things just like that much more bougie and luxurious? 
Yeah, I, I think so too. And I also think there's probably some science there about it too, you know, and because we've been talking about this blue light, right, as how that can be pretty, almost pretty intrusive. And if you think about then red yeah. light, um, there is a bit of a, a relaxation to it because red light is a different spectrum as it's not as, it doesn't contain as much energy as blue light. So it doesn't really stimulate um, uh, cortisol, right? Like, yeah. like yeah. blue light would be. So mm -hmm. it's very relaxing. In fact, you know, there, there's early evidence to show how red light's been, been shown to be beneficial for uh, increasing melatonin because it doesn't, again, it, it's, it's, it's providing cells energy, right? And so your body needs to create melatonin, right? So it'd be only natural that red light could potentially help with, with, with melatonin, which, you know, which why some people could could be beneficial for sleep, but at night specifically, we get this now, it's kind of become um, what a lot of our customers are doing is they're just turning the light on as they're lighting, right? They're turning off all the blue light in their house and they have, some people have their juve in the corner or at their office and they're just illuminating everything in red. And a reason that would be relaxing is red is not gonna alter your sleep right? Like blue light would alter it as blue light can, um, this has been proven now that it can halt production of melatonin, right? And so uh, I believe there's a study that was done at Harvard that um, reading from an iPad for, for I think a multiple hours before bed or an hour before bed can halt melatonin up to two hours, right? Mm -hmm. And so it mm -hmm. can alter our sleep in a negative way. And so red light doesn't, it doesn't have that. It's very, very, very um, relaxing. And I think that's what you're experiencing. Like when you're foam rolling and it's on, or when it's, you know, you're by on the computer and it's on, it's just very relaxing as it's non-invasive. Oh, I meant dermal rolling, like at oh, dermal rolling. Got micro it, got it. Yep. Okay. So speaking of, of light, I love these Himalayan rock salt mm -hmm. lamps. I literally have them in every room at nighttime. I have them in the wall. I'll put a little essential oil on the top of the rocks and it heats up and just gives this beautiful smell, but the glow is so gorgeous. But I feel like the red light therapy just kind of takes it to another level. And definitely that, uh, you know, the, the orange light from the Hamlin salt, the red light from, from the red light therapy, it's very calming on our nervous system. So I remember the first night I used it, I did a treatment before bed and then I went to bed. And this was a night where I was actually really only getting about five and a half hours of sleep. I was getting up really early to do a, a podcast with someone in New York and I'm on the West Coast here. And I couldn't believe it. Just after that one night of using it, the next day I felt like I had a full eight hours of sleep. I actually woke up before my alarm. It was the mm. weirdest thing. But I, I, I like, I'm pretty sensitive to things with my body. And even just after the first night, I noticed a difference with sleep. It was incredible. Yeah, that one, I love, I loved calling out like just lighting up the house in, in salt lamps at night. And, and I think mm -hmm. that is very, very, um, that that's very close to how nature would be. Right. I mean, think of, think of the sun once it gets totally. to that sunset, right? Mm -hmm. The blue spectrum is gone right? It's not actually being able to make it through the atmosphere. And it's just the red and the yellow and the orange that are getting through. So it's, it's how we're biologically wired. That is why that salt lamp is very, very, like it feels good at, at mm -hmm. this time of day. That's how we were biologically wired, right? And then red light fits in there because it's that spectrum of light too. And so there's many different, pro there's many different things that, that affect sleep and, and um, like, like you're mentioning. And I would say it's, there's kind of this big three right? One of them is what's the temperature, right? Temperature really, really, really affects our sleep. Then there is noise, right? We can't have it too loud. And then there's this third one that everybody overlooks and is light. Mm -hmm. What light are you exposing yourself to at night? Um, and specifically before you're going to bed, virtually everybody and, and everybody that I've met that really, um, that, that haven't, you know, gone down this path of light, their entire house is lit up at night before they go to bed it's true. and it just causes negative effects on on your sleep and now um now we th this is getting well documented we really didn't know what we were doing when we brought the light bulb into the home it's mm -hmm. helped in so many different avenues but we really didn't know what we were doing and then when we shifted to, to blue light and blue leds it helps it, it's more efficient right and, and and it's cheaper to produce and it, and it, and it pulls less power 
but it causes all types of different havocs on our, oh, on gosh, our, yeah. on our system. Yeah. You know, and so we have a history of this, right? As human beings, we implement things really fast. We love it. And then we figure out later, ah, that might not been a good idea, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, we can all, we can all point to cigarettes in, in the fifties as they used to have commercials for cigarettes that it was a healthy alternative to help you relax. That's how it was promoted. Um, I think we're going to see the same thing with how much we've implemented blue light and how quickly well, we it's gone on. Yeah. Yeah. And think what about Think about Rachel of how long has, has the iPhone been around? Not very long, uh -huh. <laughs> not very long. Right. And, and I think it's, we're slowly ca catching up to us. And I don't really, it's not really the iPhone's fault. It's not, it's not what I'm blaming. What I'm saying is we've implemented new habits and technologies mm -hmm. that we really don't fully understand what it's doing to the body yet. We're just diving all right in, you know, same and with 5G, do we... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> there's a lot of unknowns. And yeah. so, you know, what, what I would say then is you're, you're dead on. That's amazing how you've, you, what you're doing at night already. And it would make sense that adding in red light, another healthy spectrum of light to bring you more to, I think the best way to say it is balance, yeah, bring your, sure. you more to a balance. And when you can give your body balance, I, uh, my, how I fundamentally look at it is your sleep is a direct representation of how all the good things you're doing while you're awake. Right. So what I mean by that is if you're, you know, if you eating a good diet, your sleep will most likely represent that. And what, and totally. so an example would be when I've tried different diets, right. When I've heard there's been new buzz diets, right. With this is all the time. Right. And I've, I've tried different things. And when I've tried a specific diet that was, let's say was more of an elimin, uh, elimination diet, right. It only contained a certain amount of foods you can, you can see, and I saw this cause I can track it with, with an aura ring. Mm -hmm it jacked my sleep up completely. Like I was waking up multiple hours. I'd wake up, I'd go to bed at let's say 10 o'clock. I'd wake up at midnight and I couldn't go back to sleep. And so sleep is a good dictation of what I'm doing during the day. My sleep should represent it. So the better your sleep is, I think it's, it's, it's the better you're executing on ways to keep your healthy. Stress is a, is a dictator in that, right? How many people have gone to bed stressed and they slept terrible? right? How many people have found, Hey, I implemented exercise and now I'm sleeping better. Hey, I'm going on walks during the day and I'm sleeping better. Hey, I'm eating less junk food and I'm sleeping better. And so I think it's really, uh, uh, interesting that you're saying, uh, and what people say and what people report back, Hey, I added in red light, this healthy dosage of light that my body actually needs. And now I'm at uh, uh, my sleep. I can see that it, it's an altered in a good way. So I think it, it, you know, I think of how is it helping you sleep better? We don't fully have those answers, but I think it's pretty clear. It's, it's bringing you to back to a better balance. And then your sleep is an ultimate representation of that. Yeah. It just takes you out of that sympathetic nervous system state and into the parasympathetic to allow your body to kind of rest and digest. I also will say that I like the sound of the fan with it because it's like white noise and I love mm -hmm. it. So if there's any other noise in the house and I have it on in my bathroom while I'm getting ready, I don't hear any banging around or anything like that. What I will say is I was exposing the left side of my body a little bit more intentionally because that's our driving side. And when, you know, we're from North America, we get more UV damage on the left side of our face from driving. But what was really interesting was after about a week of using the Juve, I know that my left knee was getting more red light therapy. And then I actually compared it to my right. And women actually do complain of wrinkles on the tops of their knees, believe it or not. So I just actually like grabbed the skin, you know, when you grab it and on different areas of the body and it will kind of like scrunch mm -hmm. up a little bit. Uh, when we lose collagen and elastin, you get more of that elastosis, if you will, which is like that thinning and creepiness of the skin. And there was actually a visible difference between my knees. So the left knee that had more light, it was, you know, showing that the skin was actually like a little bit thicker, a little bit healthier compared to the right side that was getting less exposure. And it was actually a little bit more creepy. So I doubt that I've had really any different sun exposure and sun damage on my knees. So just within a week, that's actually a skin change that I noticed, which I think is really interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Wow, that's incredible. Um, I also didn't know that about the driving and the UV, but that makes sense, right? Totally. It, it, you would get hit. God, Yeah. look, I just learned something new today. Um, 
but no, that's really good feedback. And I think, and I think, you know, again, it's like, I, I don't want to sound like I'm just repeating myself over and over, but you just gave that part of the body a nutrient that it, that it, that it craves and needs and totally. look at the response time in such a short amount, right? Yeah, it's it's very, really very quickly. Oh, and that's this, awesome. Assessing the skin is like what I do. So for me to kind of like objectively look at that on myself, I was really, really impressed. So one of the reasons why I'm really wanting to encourage you guys to look at really easy to access at home options is because we're getting exposed to so many things in our environment now, whether it's through our electronics or just environmentally to create oxidative stress, which then creates inflammation in our bodies, which then creates what's called inflammaging, right? Inflammation accelerates aging. And so we really have to kind of step up our game a little bit to counteract what our environment and our culture is doing to us right now because for us to live we have to be able to navigate these different changes in our environment so whatever we can do to protect our our dna and our cells on a cellular level is only going to be beneficial for you all i that's that's really 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 well said and i i always come back to that word love of balance and that's what we're all trying to seek for the yeah. body is balance and when we're balanced what you're saying is exactly true. We're better set up to defend ourselves from the areas that we're going to get attacked in, right? Mm -hmm. From chemicals to, to viruses, to all these different pathogens, to everything, you know? It stems from make your body the strongest it can be, and it's going to take care of you, you know? Your body's going to do that. It, it's, it's amazing what it does. I, I, I mean, just think of this simple thing of how hard your body works to keep our, our body at a regular temperature, mm -hmm. right? When it gets too hot, you, we start to sweat to keep us cool. When we're cold, our body and cells shiver to keep our temperature up, you know, and just to keep that balance. So that balance is important. And I, I, I love that. I think that's very well said. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to ask you, Wes, what are the do's and don'ts of Jeep at home red light therapy? Yeah, I'd say that the do's and the don'ts, I think it's pretty, pretty simple. I think the don'ts, um, let's start with those first. The don'ts would be, um, I think you need to have realistic expectations with, with what the product's going to do and what light can do. Awesome. And a, a good way to, to, to state that is, you know, just like you take a multivitamin, right? You can't specifically say, oh, this does this for me or does this for me, right? It does this. That's kind of how light is, right? We, there are these reported benefits um, and there, there are sufficient amount of, of, of these areas, but you don't know how it's going to respond in your body. I can tell you mm -hmm. it's most likely like 99% it's going to be a positive benefit. Um, so so uh, 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 the first one would be, you know, align your expectations. Ultimately, light is going to help the body stay balanced and it is going to help um, keep your body healthy. And we're talking about aging, right? It's going to help in all these different areas so, and it's going to help support the body's f uh, function in a variety of different areas. So one would be, would don't expect it to, I did one treatment. I want to look, you know, like I'm the ultimate with skincare. Not and everybody wants happen. this. It's, it's a journey. It's your skincare. It's your lifestyle. It's at-home treatments. It's in-clinic treatments. It's all, it's all of the combined. It's all the pieces of the puzzle. So if you're looking for like that magic pill or that magic cream, you're going to waste a lot of money. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you, and you see that, right? Even with when, when, when people are reading studies now about um, how can I boost my immune system to keep myself safe from, from COVID-19 or from the virus. And when you get down to the nitty gritty, um, what I've read is that it's about lifestyle. It's all about we'll live a healthy lifestyle right? Well, that's so subjective, right? So it's exactly what you're talking about. There's no silver bullet. You need to be balanced in all these different areas um, uh, to have your body best set up. And so, okay, so that'd be the first one. The second one is um, don't, you know, use it sporadically, use it mm -hmm. consistently. Mm -hmm. You know, you need consistent treatment to see these results, just how, you know, you can't expect to go out in the sun and expect, oh, my vitamin D levels are great. I don't need to go out in the sun anymore. No, you need to consistently get good exposure to see these type um, of, of, of benefits. And then um, 
you know, I, I think of, 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 uh, that's, I can't really think of any other of don'ts with it. I think of is really just aligning your expectations on, you know, looking at it, that light is a natural nutrient that the body needs. And this is ensuring I'm getting that nutrient similar to why you would take, um, a multivitamin. Um, and then the do's I, or let's just go, they're the opposite of the don'ts, right? Have the right expectation. Um, and then use it consistently. I can promise you um, that of what we know so far, exposing yourself to this, to these wavelengths of light have been shown to be so, so healing to the body and beneficial to the body that Dr. Hamblin, who I mentioned earlier, was on our scientific advisor, he believes that in the next 10 um, to 15, hopefully shorter, that virtually every home in America will have a red light therapy device similar to how you would find almost like a hair dryer. He believes mm -hmm. it's that crucial to the human body. Yeah. I mean, to counteract what we're exposed to, right? So you have to think of that, what we're exposed to in our daily living and what we can do to counteract that. So that's why I'm bringing forth this type of option for you guys. So I have a lot of men that meet with me and a lot of celebrity males online that are complaining of hair loss and they're like rachel like i want you to help me with my skin how to lift my brows reduce lower eye bags pigmentation reduce my pores all that stuff so obviously i, I help them with that but then there's also options i talk about for stimulating hair growth especially on your edges or the back of the head because guys want to look great too but also women experience hair loss to their edges especially like during menopause or stress or when they're having you know they've had babies and they've undergone those hormonal changes so from our beauty products uh for example men using different shaving creams you're getting parabens you're exposing mm -hmm. your body to things that are altering your hormones so i'd love to ask you Wes, what is the new evidence for hormones and how it impacts men and women Oh man, I'm glad you asked that question. This is such an exciting area that is starting to really emerge. Um, and it really started um, with, with uh, at Juve that we started getting lots of anecdotal feedback um, of, hey, have you guys heard of red light therapy, you know, increasing testosterone? And it started really first with, with males. Um, and we, you know, we'd have, we'd have um, you know, influencer partners that we'd work with or customers that would say, hey, you know, I started using your product in the spring and I just got it, my, my blood work done in the spring. And then I did my blood work about six to eight months later. And it's weird. My testosterone like doubled. Um, and there, I have done nothing different. Hmm. And so we started getting that feedback back and we're like, okay, I think let's, you know, let's, let's actually look at this deeper. Let's actually set up um, a, 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 stu a research study. Totally. And so we finally had found a partner that was interested in looking at um, hormone responses in male and female. And so we executed on a study and we looked at um, male and female hormone responses in, in 12 weeks. And what we saw was pretty remarkable um, for males. Um, and so we actually had two, two groups. We had, we had, uh, uh, a category of the, um, the control group that just added in red light. They stayed on their standard American diet, right? Um, and then we have this other group, the experimental group, and they, at, they switched from the standard American diet and they went um, to a ketogenic diet, right? And then added in red light. So they kind of mm -hmm. did two, two new things, right? And when we say ketogenic diet, I, you know, I, I'm not saying like, you need to do the ketogenic diet. I think the bottom line here is we saw folks go from a relatively junky diet to a more um, uh, sufficient diet that provides a lot of nutrients to the body, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of high fat, et cetera. And so with the group that just added in red light, we saw remarkable results of them increasing, for men, increasing testosterone, both total and free. And we saw 20% increases, 30% increases. Some of them wow. were 40% increases in 12 weeks. And that was just adding in red light therapy. And the same was for, for females that just added in red light therapy. We saw healthy increases in progesterone. But here's the really cool part. We saw either increases or decreases in estradiol, depending on where they were at. So if they had too high of estradiol, it lowered. If they had too low of estradiol, it rose. And what, that sh the re what, what the researchers concluded is 
hey, this is bringing a balance to female hormones. This is mm -hmm. showing adrenal healing. This is pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. And so um, now for the group that added in, that changed to a high fat diet and added in red light, their results were, were almost double the, of, of the group that just was on, that, that just did red light. And we saw 90% increases in testosterone. We saw some folks double it, triple it. Um, and same for females. We saw 90% incre increases in progesterone. And this is both post and, and uh, excuse me, pre and post menopausal. Mm -hmm. So bottom line is we saw significant increases in t both testosterone and, and uh, total and free for men, and then a balancing effect to females. So that the, you can see these preliminary results on our website. If you go to the, if you go to the blog page, um, we did a Q and A with, with, with the researcher. And this is, this is the first study to go along with a lot of anecdotal, anecdotal feedback. So um, I don't want folks to think, uh, I want to just make a disclaimer that there's no indication that our product can do this, but the early evidence we're seeing is very strong that red and near infrared um, uh, can support healthy hormone hormones. Mm -hmm. There is a study that was published in 2017 that looked at the facial shape changes of men and women and women in their fifties, their facial shape changes three times faster than men's. Mm. So no, it's not just in your head. If you're a woman in your fifties and you feel like your aging is accelerated and this is a thing. And what happens when we hit 50 menopause? So whatever we can do before, during, and after to give our body as much support as possible is really, really important. And if you've been listening for, to me for a long time or watching on the YouTube channel here, you know that I have what's called a seven or eight year rule. I won't jump on the bandwagon on different in-clinic rejuvenation options like different lasers or injectable therapies without having them be used on the masses for at least that seven to eight years. And usually in that time, technologies have gone through a first generation, a second generation, a third generation of development. So things just get better. So when I referenced at the beginning of this interview that my husband and I have been using an at-home red light LED therapy for the last 10 years, there you go. I've been using it myself for a long time, but with the previous technology, I could only do really small areas like the size of the palm of my hand and it had to be in contact. So this is almost like the next generation of some of those clunky uh, pads to be used at home and it's a little easier to fit into your routine. It's easier to get full body coverage. So that's really why I'm sharing this is because I've seen this evolution of red light therapy and it's really, really exciting. And guys, if you're listening and ladies, the red light that the juve outputs is hot. And I mean, hot, <laughs> like sexy. And I don't know what it is about the red light therapy, but it just makes everything look good. <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard that before, Wes. It's a complimenting color. I think we can, it's, mm -hmm. it's a very complimenting color. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's amazing. You know, I, <laughs> I haven't heard that before, but that's cool feedback. Really? You haven't? Are you kidding me? That's probably what everyone thinks when they're looking at like this, this, you know, gorgeous person, man or woman in front of this red light therapy. And they just look so good. Right. It's like, automatically they just look flawless and gorgeous and it's like oh what's that because red is such like a color of passion and love and intrigue so i think it's That's great true. like couples can use this therapy together and uh yeah my husband's a, a pro athlete so i'm really looking forward to him upgrading his previous led panels to the juve in his next uh training camp that's very cool. That's very cool. And you know, now that you're saying that I would, a great place that you can, that you can go actually see that is go uh, check out our Instagram mm -hmm. and just click on the tagged photos. There's just tons of organic. Um, and actually you can watch the stories. There's always people sharing it. And I'll, I will, um, you, you are on, you are dead on there now that I'm thinking about it. Um, there is so much people love sharing about it and sharing those photos of them bathed in the, in this red light. It just, it does provide a really, really, really cool picture. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And would you say that we, I feel like we've covered so much in regards to unpacking light therapy on the skin. I talked about the at home and in clinic options. 
And yes, as a disclaimer, this is educational entertainment. Always check with your physician before many, making any lifestyle modifications. But this is a really great at-home option that has been used for a long time. And I just recommend you try it out. And, you know, you guys have a great uh, money back guarantee with your devices. You really stand behind your products. And that says a lot about you guys, family owned company. I love it. And the information to get your hands on the Juve Light is going to be in the description box or the summary of this podcast or video. So make sure you check that out. And Wes, do you have any? final remarks or any information that you think that our listeners just really need to hear right now to wrap up this really in-depth talk on red light therapy and, you know, how others can relate to if they've been wanting to start using the juve and how to incorporate it. But one thing I do just quickly want to say, how much money was your, uh, was your family member spending on going to those beds each time? Oh man, that's, uh, I think it was definitely in the upwards of, oh God, I want to say over $50 a treatment. Um, especially at that point, very, ex- like there's not a lot of offering. So companies yeah. can be, can be pretty expensive. And in fact, mm-hmm. I can tell you that there are, were some spots in New York, um, at that time where, uh, you know, they were going to use, a, a going into an led bed, the, the, they do make red light therapy beds. Um, and they were charging upwards of $150 a session, um, which is just flabbergasting to me because you need, you need adequate exposure to really see benefits. So doing like one treatment a week, it's not enough. You need, you, you need more. And so, yeah, I've seen it a really, really, really broad range of it. And, and I've seen it upwards of $150 a session. Mm -hmm. So from a budget and lifestyle perspective, getting your hands on an at-home device like the Juve, as opposed to going somewhere to get it, you're going to get greater benefits from it, from more consistent exposure to it, which is what the research is telling us. And from a cost perspective, it's going to be more affordable in the long run. And you're not going to have to spend time commuting to go somewhere, you know, doing the treatment, coming home. You can do it from the comfort of your own home, which I just think is fantastic. So any final remarks for us? Yeah, I think, you know, as, as you're going to follow that, that, that link that Rachel shares in, in the notes, um, once you're there on our site, I, I want to just point out two places I really encourage someone to go. This has been, I mean, I, I hopefully it's been educational and I would s- just still go to the learn page, go read, mm-hmm, go definitely. read, you know, um, go read and go, go discover more of this um, now that you're thinking of, okay, light is energy, our bodies need it, go read about what the research is saying, what's been reported, because there's categories now that are emerging far beyond what we mentioned. In fact, um, Dr. Hamlin just did another meta-analysis, um, I believe, uh, just in November, showing now there's, there's evidence showing how it's altering the gut microbiome in humans in a positive way. This Ooh. is very, very, very new research. Um, so I, I can't really touch on a lot there, but again, it's alluding to red light is really helping the entire body function, um, more efficiently. And so, um, go to the learn page and then second, go to the reviews page. Don't even go to the shop page. Just go to the reviews page, go read about what other people are saying. You know, you're hearing my, my feedback here and, and Rachel's. But then go see what 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 the cust- what our actual customers are saying. Um, when somebody fills out a review, it goes directly on our site. It's unedited, so it's it's all organic. And I guess that there's three. Then also go go to our Instagram and go to the tag photos. Go go see what all other people are posting about and saying about, um, and and what they're experiencing. I think that's important as you're as you're thinking about something is go to other third party sources of what the people are actually saying because ultimately. Um, That's what's most important to us at Juve is um, our customers getting a positive experience. Yeah, we have there. We know the science. We know it's legitimized, et cetera. But what are the customers uh, saying and what are they reporting back and what's their Mm -hmm. experience? So those are some areas that I would uh, just want to touch on as as you hit our site of places to check out. 
Mm -hmm. And one more thing I wanted to add is I get questions all the time in my Instagram DM at Rachel Varga official. What about this red light thing? I bought this one a couple years ago and I've just dug it out from hiding. And I will say that I remember I was at Las Vegas for a big plastic surgery conference and I was chatting with this guy and he's like, oh yeah, I have this red light therapy. It's like those masks that you can put on. He's mm -hmm. like, it's like getting a facelift saves you $9,000. Like, trust me, this stuff is out there. These really low quality devices that are probably just like Christmas bulbs, right? It's yep. like a bulb with a red filter or you could like change the colors, um, you know, with the flip of the dial. So you really have to become a conscious purchaser and really trust your instincts. If you think something is like too good of a deal or it's from this, you know, auction website, it's probably a ripoff. I see that just all the time with uh, beauty products. If you, if you really want to solidify this concept, go to Netflix and watch the series called Broken. And it's really helping people understand that the counterfeit beauty and wellness industry, so any household products, any beauty products, cleaning products, supplements that you're getting on some of these auction websites are probably counterfeit. And it's a huge health issue. So really become a more conscious purchaser when you're looking at products and devices to use in your home and on your body. That's, that's really, really well said. I've never heard of that documentary, but I'm going to cue that up now. That sounds really yeah. interesting. And that, and that's something we, we've, we, I, I don't want to touch on it too much, but that's something we've experienced at Juve as we are the original at home full body light therapy company. So the, the, the idea, the passion, everything came from Juve. And then anything in the future is coming from all of Juve's research. Every other company that is doing that, they're just trying to make a quick buck most, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, and I, I, obviously I can't say that for everyone, but when you're not an originator of an idea, um, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, to, to go down that route. And, and that's what you're seeing of what you're expressing, Rachel, is you see then these products that aren't up to quality, the safety measures aren't there. They're, they're cheaply made and they just don't ultimately bring that, that experience of what um, that product is designed to do. So I, that, mm -hmm. that, that's a great point. I'm going to watch that documentary. Yeah. So safety features, the juve, you could set the timer. It's got an auto shut off. The fan keeps going afterwards for a little while because it needs to make sure that the system is cooled. So when you're using some of these red light therapy devices and they don't have a fan, <laughs> It's probably not a, every laser I use has a fan, by the way, just in case you're like, why is this thing so loud? They have to have fans to cool the system. This is just part of the mechanics of building a really good, a good energy device. You got it. You got it. Yep. Yep. And if, if it's not, there's no fan, it's because the, they're delivering low power. They don't need to have a fan to keep the LEDs cool. And I love the sound of it. Like I said before, it's like white noise. So the Juve light has absolutely made its way into my morning and night beauty routine a little bit of like that that beautiful glow that that taking things down a notch really making my at-home beauty self-care routine a little bit more luxurious high tech it's all about the science of beauty and i love talking about that wes it was just an absolute privilege to have you on the podcast and on the youtube channel here and there's a lot of guys that tune into what I do. And, you know, looking at yourself, you look very healthy, you look very fit. So obviously you're walking the walk and talking the talk. So thank you so much for the work that you do. Yeah, thanks for having me. And thank, thank you for the work you're doing. I think you're, you're definitely educating the right message, you know. And so it's a pleasure to come on and help, and help support that. Wonderful. So go ahead and give us some love. You can tag me at Rachel Varga Official and juve at juve social and we'd love to hear from you guys let us know what you learned today or any questions that you have i check all my dms and 
if you're just kind of wanting a little bit of guidance of how to incorporate different at-home and in-clinic skin rejuvenation options, I do offer global one-on-one -on -one skin consultations, which you can book with me at rachelvarga.ca. It's my pleasure to help people all over the world just make smarter purchasing decisions so you're less likely to be drawn into the gimmicks or things that aren't supported by the research because there's just an epidemic of that. So I'm here to help you guys just make smarter decisions. And yeah, this is a really fun interview. I'm, I'm very thankful to have you here, Bess. <laughs> Yep, and then now the puppy's waking up a bit, so we're, we're at a good time. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Hey, little guy. I know I was watching the puppy during the video here, and he was kind of like kicking around and turning. So if you're listening on the podcast, check out the Rachel Varga YouTube channel, and you can watch this adorable little puppy in the corner. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in and listening. I really hope that you learned lots. Well, not hope. I know that you learned lots. And this is a great resource for you to just keep coming back to. You can even re-listen re to this episode. We went pretty heavy into the science and mechanism of action of red light therapy and aging. So this could be one that you listen to a couple of times. But I look forward to catching up with you guys in the next episode. And yeah, thanks so much for joining us, Wes. Thank you. Bye, everyone.